on early childhood development and an umbilical cords from women who are taking toxic products that should be illegal for a pregnant woman to take that are causing a lot of processing delays for children mm-hmm. today. So, of course, it's going to be common for someone to say, I can't go to work today. My kid's chronically sick because of the country we live in. But that woman's going to end up being homeless because yeah. she can't abide to the system that's failing us. Yeah. I really much appreciate you bringing up this point. And how do you think that as a collective, we can start taking responsibility and addressing how these, these dualistic thinking and how we can break other people free from these confined constructs that we're raised with today? I found a wonderful question. I found you cannot fight a system. It's just there's too many humans, it's, and, and it's an energetic thing. There's too many humans dependent on systems. You can't fight it. So don't fight a system. What is working is awareness. So awareness of what we're doing here. That's why I see it's the second superpower. This, you know, the, the human uh, thing, because we reconnect. Every time you talk to somebody, you reconnect humanity. You see, oh, she is a, a puzzle piece.